Shake Table Lab by Sky Shaw. This is our building sketch. Jonathan and I had made a building sketch on Sketch. Our building design was based off of what the building requirements are and how many straws we get. The design was planned to have the bottom story 21 centimeters tall and the top story be 18, but we didn't exactly follow that. The first step that we did was to tape down the main perimeter of straws on the cardboard. Jonathan and I built our base all the way around the board because we thought that it would distribute the weight across a larger area, therefore better supporting the weights. Secondly, we started to build the frame of the first story, which was required to be at least 18 centimeters. We planned for a second story to be also 18 centimeters, but it turned out to be 20. A further building code required our towers to be bolted onto the base. To do that, we drilled four holes in the base, and by putting a bolt on all four sides and folding them under and taping them to the base. The third step of building was to complete the first story and build the frame of the second story. Jonathan and I knew that triangles were the strongest shape, so on our bottom story of the tower, we made each of the four sides have a cross out of straws, then we put a triangle on each of the four, creating triangles. We ended up not managing our straw count, and on the bo bottom story, we used well over the majority of straws, as we were not planning as much for the top story. However, our bottom story is pretty strong. The last step that we did was the top story and the floors. Our top story was planned to be 18 centimeters and turned out around 20 centimeters, though. Since we didn't plan for enough straws, we only put large triangles for the top story. That was pretty strong, but not nearly as strong as our bottom story. Later in the project, we received a message saying that all our towers had to have an interesting roof because they looked all the, the same. After we added posts and made a space for sandbags, Jonathan and I made an angling slice for a roof. In addition, we put a strong construction paper American flag at the maximum height allowed so our tower would stand out from the rest. Measurements we originally planned for a 21 centimeter first story, but it turned out to be 22. Our top story was also planned to be 18 centimeters, but it turned out to be 20 centimeters. When Jonathan and I finished our tower, we had to do a static test to see if our tower could support the weights. Our first story was really strong and could hold 8 weights. We didn't test it even more in case it collapsed. And the second story only held 6 but we didn't put any more either. To reinforce our structure for further, we added bolts in the base. Jonathan and I also doubled the center beams to support the floors. Our four main corner beams were tripled on the first layer for battle support too. The strong parts on our tower were the first story, our corner beams, and our walls. Our bolts were also our strong part. In addition, our base plate struts were sturdy. The weak parts on our tower were the slice and the flag, as they were for looks, not strength. Our second story wasn't particularly weak, but it was relatively weaker than the other strong parts. Jonathan and I didn't use that much tape, but we only had a lot around the corners. You can't really blame us because we had eight straws to connect in one joint. We used the wraparound technique of connecting corner joints, since it was easier and faster and more convenient. The only extra supplies we used were construction paper, which was for the flooring of our tower. We also used a bit of construction paper for our American flag at the top. This is our shake video. We had approximately 16 sandbags in this video. This is our second shake video. This video shows where the tower fell. It had 21 sandbags on it.
This is our XYZ graph. This displays the information that was recorded by the motion sensor when we were shaking our tower with the weights on it. The X axis measures how much the tower moves side to side. The Y axis measures how much the tower moved forward and backward. And finally, the Z axis measures how much the tower moved up and down. This is my interview about our tower. Hi, my name is Sky Shaw. Today I'll be talking to you about the tower that my partner and I built for our shake table lab. Our tower held 21 sandbags before collapsing, or actually 19, but it collapsed on 21, so we got a count of 19. And our building failed, well, it failed first on the, fir um, on the top story, because the triangle patterns were pretty weak compared to our first story. But, and then Mr. C let us pile all the sandbags on the first story, so it would like um, count for the second story that failed. And three, I, um, and to make our tower better, I think we could, um, if we, if we could use less straws for the bottom story and more straws on the top story, then we'd probably make everything stronger, and it would be stronger overall, and then I think it would survive longer, and, and I learned that, um, from earth, uh, building an earthquake tower, that, an earthquake proof tower that um, bolts are really important for our tower because they kept the tower in, um, in place when I was about to fall and what I liked about the tower project is we could um, we were always um, building and we could test it with um, with static tests and sandbags and yeah this is my partner's interview about our tower Hi, my name is Jonathan Nachman. The tower my partner and I built held 19 sandbags. It collapsed with 21 sandbags on it. Our tower first collapsed at the top story because the triangle patterns broke. When all the sandbags were moved to the bottom story, a V pattern ga gave out after a couple of shakes, and so it got 19 sandbags. Overall, I think we could have made our tower stronger if we were to use less straws on the bottom story and more straws on the top story. I think it would have distributed the strength overall th through the tower better. Um, I learned that one of the most important things in the tower is the bolts because it really helps keep the tower down when it's being shaken a ton. Um, my favorite part of the project was to make the design and actually build it with my partner because it was really cool to see how what the design being built. Yeah, I